Mastering English. Say goodbye to overusing passive voice. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today we're going to tackle a very important topic within intermediate grammar. Understanding and avoiding the overuse of passive voice. It's a common issue many learners face, and today we're here to help you master it. Before we delve into overuse, let's quickly recap what passive voice is. In a passive sentence, the subject undergoes the action instead of doing it. It's when we say, the book was read by me, instead of, I read the book. Both sentences mean the same, but they are structured differently and can sometimes create different implications or tones. Now, Let's talk about what we mean by overusing passive voice. Passive voice overuse happens when you use the passive structure excessively, to the point that it makes your sentences overly complicated, difficult to understand, or less direct and engaging. While passive voice is not inherently bad and can be useful in certain contexts, it's essential to strike a balance in your writing and speaking. How do you know if you're overusing passive voice? Here are some signs. 1. Your sentences often seem indirect or unclear. Passive voice tends to create distance or remove clarity in sentences because the doer of the action can be left unstated or stated later in the sentence. If your listeners or readers frequently ask for clarifications, it might be due to passive voice overuse. Two. You're frequently using, by, phrases. These are common in passive sentences, like, the cake was eaten by the children. If you find a lot of your sentences include, by, it might be a sign of overuse. 3. You're neglecting active voice. Remember, it's all about balance. If you can't recall when you last used active voice, it might be time to rethink your sentence construction. Avoiding overuse of passive voice is mainly about being aware and making a conscious effort to vary your sentences. Here are some tips. 1. Use active voice when the actor is important. The active voice emphasizes the person or thing doing the action, so use it when you want to highlight who or what is performing the action. 2. Save passive voice for when the action is the focus. If the action itself or the receiver of the action is more important than who is performing it, that's a good time to use passive voice. 3. Practice rewriting sentences. Take some time each day to rewrite passive sentences into active ones and vice versa. This will help you become more comfortable with both structures. And that's it for today's lesson. We hope this gives you a clear understanding of what passive voice overuse is and how you can avoid it. Remember, it's all about balance and clarity. Use passive voice when it's suitable, but don't shy away from the active voice. Happy learning, and we'll see you in our next video.